what kind of visualization do you like, do you do when you're trying to think about we'll get to combinatorial algorithms but just algorithms in general yeah what kind of what what's inside your mind when you're thinking about designing algorithms or or even just tackling any any mathematical problem well i think that usually an algorithm is uh, involves a uh, repetition of some inner loop <laughs> and and so i can sort of visualize the um the distance from the desired solution as iteratively reducing until you finally hit the exact solution and try to take steps that get you closer to the try to the, get take steps that get closer and having the certainty of converging so it's it's very, it's, it's basically the the mechanics of the algorithm is often very simple um but especially when you're trying something out on the computer so for example um uh i did some work on the traveling salesman problem and um uh, I could see there was a particular function that had to be minimized, and it was fascinating to see the successive approaches to the minimum to the optimum. You mean so? First of all, a traveling salesman problem is where you have to visit uh, every city without ever the only once. Yeah, that's right. Find the shortest path the through shortest a set path. of cities. Yeah, uh, which is sort of a canonical, a standard, a really nice problem that's really hard. In right, that's exactly, yes. <laughs> uh, so can, can you say again, what was nice about the objective, uh, being able to think about the objective function there and maximizing it or minimizing it? Well, it's just that, that the um, as the algorithm proceeded, it was, you were making mm -hmm. progress, continual progress, and uh, and eventually getting to the optimum point. So there's two two parts, maybe. Maybe you can correct me. But first is like getting an intuition about what the solution would look like. And or even maybe coming up with a solution. And two is proving that this thing is actually going to be pretty good. Uh, what part is harder for you? Where does the magic happen? Is it in the first sets of intuitions or is it in the detail the messy details of actually showing that it is going to get to the exact solution and it's gonna run at this at, at a certain complexity. Well, the, the, the magic is just the fact that it the, that the gap from the optimum decreases monotonically and you can see it happening and um, various metrics of what's going on are improving all, all along until finally you hit the optimum. Perhaps later we'll talk about the assignment problem and I can illustrate. Illustrate a little better. Yeah. Uh, 